Mule reads, m, mm, m, mm, m. Mm. Mule reads, m, m, m. Mule reads, m, m, m. Milton Mule was so happy. Milton Mule had a new baby sister. Milton Mule's little sister was named Mimi. Milton Mule played with Mimi every day. Mimi was a lot of fun. Milton Mule saw that Mimi was growing. Mimi was getting bigger every day. Soon, Mimi would be one year old. I am going to get Mimi a birthday present, thought Milton Mule one day while he was coloring a picture. I am going to get Mimi the best present in the whole wide world. Right then, Papa Mule walked into the kitchen. I am going to go to the store, said Papa Mule. I want to look at some mittens. Milton Mule jumped up. Oh, Papa, said Milton Mule. May I go? Yes, smiled Papa Mule. Papa Mule was glad. Papa Mule liked to take his little son places. Papa Mule and Milton Mule walked into the store. They walked up to the counter where the mittens were. Milton Mule's eyes opened wide. There were toys right by the mittens. Maybe Milton Mule could find a present for Mimi. Milton Mule looked at all the toys. Milton Mule saw a bright red motorcycle and some pretty colored marbles. The marbles are beautiful, thought Milton Mule, but they would be dangerous for a little mule like Mimi. Mimi might think the marbles are something good to eat and swallow them. Suddenly, Milton Mule saw it. Milton Mule saw a pretty mini mule rag doll. Why, it looked like the best present in the whole wide world. Oh, Papa, cried Milton Mule. I'm going to get Mimi this mini mule rag doll. I know she will love this. Milton Mule reached out to pick up the mini mule rag doll. Wait a minute, said Papa Mule gently. Mini mule rag dolls cost money. You can't just take that mini mule rag doll. Mini mule, Milton Mule looked up at Papa Mule. There were big tears in Milton Mule's eyes. But I, I don't have any money, sniffed Milton Mule. I, I don't have any money at all. I can't have the mini mule rag doll if it costs money. Papa Mule put his arm around Milton Mule. I have an idea, said Papa Mule. Why don't we make a mini mule rag doll? I know that Mama will help. Papa Mule and Milton Mule hurried home. Mama, Mama, cried Milton Mule as he burst into the kitchen. I have a secret question to ask you. I must not let Mimi hear. It is a surprise. Milton Mule whispered into Mama's soft, furry ear. Will you help Papa and me make a mini mule rag doll for Mimi's birthday? Of course, said Mama. But first, I need you to do something for me. Our new neighbor, Grandmother Mim, called while you were gone. She is lonely. Would you go over and see her for a while? 
Grandmother Mimp asked Milton Mew, Does she live in the little house across the field of grass? Yes, smiled Mama. That's the house. When you come back, we will help you with your surprise. Bumpety bump, bumpety bump. Milton Mule galloped across the field of grass. Milton Mule galloped straight to Grandmother Mim's house. Knock, knock. Milton Mule knocked on the door. Then Milton Mule stood still. Milton Mule was waiting for his new neighbor, Grandmother Mim, to answer the door. As Milton Mule waited, he scratched his head. The inside of the house looked very dark. Right then, Milton Mule heard a noise. Come in, said a cheerful voice. As Milton Mule opened the door, he wondered, Why didn't Grandmother Mim come to the door? Why is the house so dark? Soon, Milton Mule would find out.